Ah, the first few days of spring, and the whole world seems new and fresh and bursting with potential. And if you live in America, you really know spring has begun on the first day of baseball season. Which, I swear to Christ, I will never understand as long as I live. It's like cricket without the good bits. How can you people stand it? <laughs> well, you picked a good city to be in to hate baseball. I mean, the pirates don't seem to understand it either. You know what your problem is, Sam? I am. You've never seen the buckos the way the buckos were meant to be seen. Deported? No, from a skybox. Ben, I don't need to be 3,000 feet above the pirates to know that I'm better than them, okay? Dude, Chase is getting our tickets right now from his boss, and he always has an extra one. Come with us this one time, and I promise you'll change your mind. Fine. What day? Uh, Thursday. Oh, no can do, Ben. I gotta take Madison to the regional barista championship Thursday night. With what car? Mine? Ours? You can't go because Thursday is opening day of wool season in West Virginia. How am I supposed to get down there without a car? Take a greyhound. That's like the state bird of West Virginia. Look, there's no way I'm messing up nationals to watch you shave a llama. It's an alpaca, and it's already shaved. I don't know. Mm, this is like a pine cone. No. Try again. Oh, God. Follow me down, follow me down. Hey, were you paid yet? Uh, let's find out. Give her a break, she's not a cage fighter. You know what, you don't know. You think you know, but you have to be a cage fighter to win this. Tell me my business. Big date, Reg? Nah. Think about something a baseball game. Opening day? Damn, son hasn't missed one yet. Eight years and counting. And has your son ever been to a yak farm? Uh, that would be no. So, why West Virginia? Yeah, don't they have llamas in Meadville? <laughs> it's not the same. I mean, if you people knew anything about wool, you would know that you have to go down to Crazy Katie's Alpaca Farm in West Virginia on the opening day of the season and ask for the silver huacaya. It's like the Narnia of wool. Great! You can have the car on Monday. What's the point? Don't you remember last year when you wouldn't reschedule your stupid land party? By the time we got there, all they had left was butt hair. I am not spending another year making hand puppets out of yak ass, Sam. I am your boyfriend, not your chauffeur. I could go. Great, that's just what we need. You driving on the wrong side of the road, taking a header off of a West Virginia highway, and landing in a moonshine distillery. Fantastic. I'm your girlfriend, not your houseplant, and I am perfectly capable of deciding who can drive me around in their motor car. Glenn? You have a Jeep, don't you? Sad face on the autocon. Box is empty. They have until five. Guaranteed? Got him! Skybox, baby! Opening day. The smell of mediocrity. Mm. Hey, Legs. You wanna watch the pirates get creamed in an air-conditioned love box in the sky? I would rather pay to be drowned than watch the pirates play for free. Top shelf booze in child sized glasses. No, seriously. These mugs are the size of toddlers. Oh, got it. Here, Google map the route to Crazy Katie's alpaca farm. There are a few tolls, but we can save an hour each way. So, if we leave at dawn, we should get there just as she's lowering the drawbridge. Yeah, zoom in. What are all those blue dots? They look like hippopotami. Those are tent cities. The Bedouins. The what? Do you think yarn geeks know how to keep secrets? Five years ago, nobody even knew that Crazy Katie's existed, and now every two-bit tea cozy queen calls the week off of work so she can hike down to West Virginia and take a crack at the silver huacaya. Those bitches have been there for weeks. Glenn, we have to leave tonight. I just got a movie from the Red Box. Sam, where's the debit card? It's in my wallet. <laughs> Empty as usual. It's payday! Oh, is it? No paychecks. Call the owner. Aubrey's ring may be small, but the payments are mighty. I call her every day. She never answers. I'll call her. When has she ever answered to you? Fair. Reggie, can I see you in the office? Hey man, oh, I'm sorry your son's street's gonna end. But look on the bright side. In this economy, not too many people will get laid off twice in the same year. 
Oh, you're about to make history. Ben, grab some ones. We gotta go. You need to change. What? I want money, no, though. You wait on three people. <sighs> Listen. How short are you for the tickets? <sighs> Thanks, but I couldn't possibly. Reggie, favors are not my forte, so don't blow it. Like 30 bucks. There's 36. Buy your son a beer. He's gonna need it. Thanks. But you're gonna have to let me repay you for this. Sure. You work in finance, right? Correction. I worked in finance. Past tense. Explain this. That's all that was in the post box. How long do we have? Well, let me see. I'd say four, maybe five days. Once you've gone this far into the foreclosure process, you're about a week away from auction. Basically, what this letter says is, please don't forget to pack up your shit and take it with you when you leave. Because once we change the locks, it's ours. And I thought the pirates were the worst thing that could happen to us. Why can't you do this every day? This is perfect! Thank you. You're welcome. Keep it up. That again, do it again. Throw all that out, do it again. Again. Repetition is key.